The paint we normally use in oil painting is a combination of pigment and some kind of neutral colorless binder. Pigments almost always are in the form of a powder which is produced through various kinds of manufacturing or refining. Pigments or colorants can be organic, inorganic, or specially formulated with chemistry. Historically dangerous and highly toxic pigments, like genuine vermilion, have been chemically duplicated in laboratories and are now less toxic. The common name for vermilion is now vermilion hue, which more accurately describes it because it's not genuine vermilion. The vehicle, in other words, the liquid in which the pigment is mixed, is usually linseed oil, vegetable oil, or safflower oil, or some other kind of neutral colorless binder. Linseed oil is sometimes called flaxseed oil because it's made from the flax plant, which is a blue flowering plant commonly known as blue flax. Pigments can also be added to water, which becomes watercolor. In oil painting, permanence and stability are very important. Permanence, or light fastness, refers to the ability of a pigment to resist fading. Some pigments fade or change color or turn black with time or exposure to light. Good quality paint has a permanence or light fastness rating posted on the tube. The most common rating scale is from ASTM International. ASTM International gives a rating from 1 to 5. 1 is excellent, 2 very good, 3 is fair, 4 and 5 are poor and very poor. Pigments that fade or change color over time are called fugitive pigments. Always purchase paint with a good permanence. Never buy the bargain or lowest price paints because they contain very little pigment and very high amounts of binders and extenders. Extenders are gels with a viscosity similar to Vaseline and are used to create more volume in a tube of paint. Natural or organic pigments have been used throughout history. These pigments are in the iron oxide and ochre family. They are often called the earth colors. They are natural minerals in the earth and their colors vary widely. Ochres are usually created by baking various colors of clay. Some natural colors are named after their place of origin, like raw sienna and burnt sienna, which originally came from Siena, Italy. Raw umber and burnt umber originally came from Umbria, Italy. There are also biological pigments and mineral pigments. Biological pigments were historically made from insects, animals, animal waste, plants, flowers, seeds, or other living creatures on the earth. Most of these pigments are now being chemically manufactured in laboratories. The same is true with mineral pigments. Ultramarine blue was originally produced by grinding a semi-precious stone, lapis lazuli, but can now be produced in the laboratory and is chemically identical.